hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we are going to solve another lead code question the question number is 136 and the tagline is single number the difficulty level of this question is easy okay uh, we are going to use python uh, 3 programming language to solve this question and if you're not familiar with python or you want to learn python and you are just a beginner you can just go to my youtube channel and here you can find this video which says learn python 3 python programming for absolute beginners you can just click here and it will take you to this video and if you go ahead and uh, open up this description tab and then here you can find all the sections uh, of the video that i have divided into the timestamps and you can just go and directly access to the section of the video that, that you want to learn for example if you want to learn the order of evaluation in python so you can just click here and it will take you straight to this section of the video where you can learn all about the order of evaluation when it comes to the calculations using python programming language right or uh, you can also click here and it will open up uh, the list of all the sections uh, on the right hand side of this video and you can just go ahead and click on any part of the video and you can access that uh, so i highly encourage you all to uh, take this course if you want to learn python uh, and you're absolute beginner and also if you are if, if you have a somewhat experience in python this video is also uh, very beneficial for you so uh, without further ado let's just dive into this our questions now okay first of all we'll just uh maximize this uh question tab so we can uh, read this question a bit better and the statement says given a non-empty array of integers nums so we have a uh, array of integers which is called nums and uh, that array is non-empty uh, which means we have uh, some sort of entries inside of that array every element appears to uh, twice except for one so in that array every element appears twice for example if we have one then we will have two ones if we have two uh, we will have uh, two twos if we have four then we will have two fours except for one so we will have at least one number uh, which uh, which will not uh, come twice in that array uh, find that single one we have to find that single number you must implement a solution with a linear runtime complexity and use only constant extra space. Okay, so uh, we have to implement a solution with a, a linear runtime complexity, uh, which means uh, that uh, our time complexity will be big of n. Okay, so uh, we'll just go ahead and take a look on the examples. Uh, we have here uh, input uh, nums and in nums array we have uh, integers which, uh, and we can see that uh, we have we have uh, this two digit uh, twice in this array and this one comes only one time so uh, in this case we will uh, go ahead and find out uh, this number one so as you can see in the output we have uh, one so what we can do is we can just go ahead and uh, make a map or some sort of dictionary uh, which will uh, go through uh, in this array and in each iteration it will uh, look up for the number and then uh, if this number comes uh, for the first time in the array uh, then uh, in the dictionary uh, that's uh, the value of this number will be one and if this number in the next iteration comes again then uh, its previous value which was one will be updated to one plus one two in the dictionary and in the next iteration uh, we will have one so this one comes only one time uh, so the value of uh, against this number in the dictionary will be one so we can uh, generate some sort of hash map or dictionary which will store all this value so what we can do we can just go ahead and we can create a dictionary named as uh, visited and uh, here we have uh, generated our dictionary in which we will store all the data okay after that what we have to do is iterate through uh, this entire array so we will write a for loop we will say for n in nums okay so in each, in each iteration uh, for example in the first iteration this digit will be stored uh, in n and we will do whatever we want to do with this so uh, in this for loop first we will look that if this two exist in our visited 
visited dictionary or not uh, to see that if, uh, whether this number comes uh, for the first time or it's coming uh, for the second time right so we will write a condition if not in uh, visited uh, that means uh, that if this two is not present in the dictionary already then uh, what uh, you have to do is uh, add uh, this uh, num into the uh, visited dictionary uh, i just uh, wrote the wrong spelling of my dictionary okay so what you have to do is add this number uh, inside of the dictionary and give this number a value of one so for example in this way uh, in the dictionary uh, we will have this number uh, which in the first iteration is two and we gave this number the value of one because uh, in the first iteration uh, this two was coming for the first time so we will write one okay so uh, but what if uh, this two in the next iteration we come here and this two already exists in our uh, visited then for that we will write our else condition and we will say we will say that if this two was present in the visited then what you can do is just take uh, uh we have indentation issue here this uh, take that number which is already present in the dictionary and add one to this to its previous value so we will write uh, plus one uh, plus equals one okay which means that uh, in the first iteration the two came uh, one time so the value uh, against to it stored as one but in the second iteration uh, because this two was already present in the visited then we will just increment its value by one so this time uh, if i just go here and create this we will have two and against this two uh previously we had this one stored but because in the second iteration we also uh, got this two uh, so the value of uh, this uh, two in the dictionary will be incremented by one so the value will become uh, one so this means this uh, so this means uh, that the two in the array uh, exist twice inside of this array right and now we we have calculated the number of uh, the numbers inside the array uh, for how many times they are coming inside the array right so after that what we have to do is return the number which came only once so we can just go outside of this for loop and we can write another loop which will go uh, in the in the nums again and but this time we have to extract the number which which came only once and that that value is stored inside of our uh dictionary visited so we can uh, just go ahead and write a condition for that and uh, we can just say uh, go inside of array and look if uh, visited dictionary contained any number n uh, which value was one okay uh, that means uh, if any number in the visited dictionary has had the value of one that means uh, that particular digit came only once inside of the uh, array or inside of the dictionary so if that is true then jo just go ahead and return that number okay so after that we can just go ahead and run our code uh okay uh, we just wrote if not in visited we actually uh, had to give condition the variable which it had to look inside of the visited so we forgot to write n here so this means that if n is not present in the visited okay so i just uh, ran this code again and you can see the code was accepted i'll submit this uh, to see whether this code passes all the test cases or not and you, here you can see this is submitted so uh, we have uh, uh, solved this question uh, successfully so thank you for watching this video uh, if you like this video if you learn uh, something significant from this video just uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share uh, this video and uh, do tell me uh, what you want to learn next in the comment section of this video okay goodbye for now